our gold medal heroes from this morning, Paul O'Donovan and Fintan McCarthy. They are in Paris. Gentlemen, congratulations. How are you both? Hello, Dara. How are you? I'm, I'm voting I'm... Uh, high spirits here. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, listen, how, what, what, has, what has the day been like for the two of you since this morning? Um, it's been a pretty um, intense morning for us. You know, we got up very early in the morning with some important matters to, to <laughs> sort out first in the, in the hotel room. Um, and then we had to uh, have a little bit of breakfast, uh, make the wait for the, the way in, we had to sweat down a bit, and then um, uh, got to spin down to the course, uh, wait in, uh, went out, did some racing, and um, we've been around talking to uh, your colleagues now and, and some others uh, for, for most of the day, seeing some of our friends and family as well, and um, uh, they've been doing a bit of singing and cheering and shouting for us, so it's a very, very enjoyable day for us. Yeah. And Vincent, like the you know back-to-back -back Olympic champions, you, you both I, I know from reading some comments from you, you both earlier on, you're just taking all of this in your stride. It's just another day at the office. Of course, yeah. You know, we 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 don't spend too long thinking about these kind of things. We just kind of try and get the job done, and then uh, it's nice to yeah, it's nice to to hear it hear it all after. Yeah, and um, uh, Paul uh, Skibberine, I you know. Um, I, I think the town has gone absolutely bonkers again for the second time in three years. You do this to us every, every Olympic Games, thank God. Um, what, what have you heard from home? Have you seen any of the pictures from home about the, the party and the celebrations? Uh, I've not heard many uh, scenes or pictures from home yet, there. As, oh. as far as I was aware, most of Skibreen was in Paris. Um, <laughs> but I'm glad that those that are still left at home are uh, throwing on a big uh, celebration still. And Paul, come here, are you sticking to your line? We, we heard the interview there a few seconds ago that this was a fluke. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm uh, convinced of that for, for sure. OK. And Fintan, do, do you think it's the greatest Olympic fluke of all time as well? I mean, it must be up there, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not sure I've seen, seen many like it, but uh, who knows? Yeah. And Fintan, the, the, the noise of... The Irish fans, like I know there's great support for the, the, the French athletes out there, but like you could hear this all the way through the race, that these chants of Ireland, Ireland, Ireland. Like, were, were you, how aware of that were you during the race? Um, very aware, to be honest. You know, usually we only hear the, the cheering maybe in the last sort of 45 seconds of the race, but um, coming through the halfway mark, I had a look across and I could see that the Greeks were kind of still sticking with us. And then I heard this just massive roar of, <laughs> of, um, of noise fr from the crowd about three minutes out from the finish line. So, uh, yeah, that definitely helped get us, get us down the, the second half. And, Paul, what's the plan now for the, the, the remainder of the week, for the rest of the games? Like, have you thought about coming home? When do you need to come home? When would you like to come home? Um, we've not thought about coming home yet. Um, that would be a matter for another day. We had uh, kind of too, too, uh, too occupied with, with the racing for the time being. Um, but the people uh, with the O5 have been very good to us and um, they're sorting us out with some uh, rooms in Paris tonight okay. uh, so we can get a good night's sleep and uh, be ready for more uh, interviews bright, bright and early half past seven. I think the first one is scheduled for tomorrow morning. So we'll be in bed early. There won't be much celebrating before that, I tell you. So you're Olympic interview champion as well? Uh, no, no, not me. Well, you're, the, you're the champion interviewer, <laughs> Dara, so you are. Well, actually, Paul, fairness, do you know what? Uh, we, we give it, you it, that. But, uh... the, the first time we spoke was in 2016, after Rio. And I remember yourself and Gary, and you were talking to me about the podium pants. Do you remember that? Um, and this was a, a part of the uniform. I do, the... I was thinking that. They said it was you, Dara, that was... They said it was you who was going interviewing us, and I was like, brilliant, I love being interviewed by Dara. He, ah. he, was, uh, he was there that time in Rio. Uh, so you're always, you're always a good interviewer, Dara, fair play. Oh, God. my God, I'm going to blush now, apart from the makeup. Paul, that's such a lovely thing to say. And because <laughs> if you remember in 2016, the podium pants, this was what you, you, you were given by Team Ireland, you know, if you won a medal. And you did in Rio with your brother, the silver. So now you're just wearing the podium pants all the time, it appears. Um, uh, not all the time, not all the time, uh, <laughs> but we have, 
we've had a, a good few occasions and uh, some more of the team have had some occasions to put them on as well and uh, you know I think that's uh, you know been fantastic for all of the team that we've had so many boats in the finals uh, the men's double winning a medal um, and the girls finished out with some strong performances in yeah. their, their B finals as well um, and that's just in rowing there's been so there so many other sports that are doing so well winning medals you know the swimming and uh, the boxing are, are, are doing very well at the minute and the athletics has just kicked off and yeah. I, I, I lose track of myself now for them all the sports but anyway it's fantastic for the whole team so uh, really looking forward to how, uh, how things go and Fintan just before you go I want to ask you about your coach Dominic Casey and you know listen the, the success that you guys and everybody in Irish rowing has had over the last number of years but today a, a very special day for him Yeah, and um, I think having both his crews in the Olympic final um, is, you know, it's just a testament to to the work that's gone in uh, over the last few years. We're, we're, I think we're always striving to get better, and um, the girls came eighth in in Tokyo, and they they uh, won up themselves today, mm. making the final and, and coming fifth in a really good race. Yeah. So um, yeah, no, I think we just. We, we just enjoy enjoy training really hard, and Dominic Dominic enjoys uh, working with us too. I hope so. <laughs> oh, I think he clearly does. Listen, lads, we're we're so incredibly proud of what yeah. you achieved today, and uh, thanks for taking time out of your evening to uh, have a chat with us and enjoy the rest of the.